and her title here. You are what you consume. Food, nicotine, alcohol, social media, endless arguments, trolling, rolling with the opposition flavor of liking being liked for the sake of validation, seeking sensation in the hollow skeletonite postmodern empty babble. An automaton. A machine programmed to write, churning out the same worn-out bullshit. Escapology, self-help, faith-based, mystical mysticality, coated in rags. Bags of shit to please whatever you consume. Fake as fuck. Fake as fuck and angry. Angry at me. Angry at him. Angry at her. It. Angry at the world that functions. Angry at the word that reads well. Angry at the sound that rings true. Angry at the mouth that speaks truth. Above all else, angry at yourself. For the ab abject failure of being the only thing you can be. Yourself. For allowing your body to be sold, your mind robbed, your autonomy traded for an extra dose of having nothing to do except following orders. For failing to succeed where others have done so, irrelevant whether it suits you or not. You want it. You want it now. What a waste of good letters. What a waste of ink. What a waste of time and space, a machine fallen from grace, wings sewn with a single strand of hair, ass hair, stinky too. Yes, yes, all fun and games, it gets boring after a while, you already know it, just do your bit where you balance this, ooh hoo look at me. Edgy shit with, wow, much balance, many wisdom, super poem. Be done with it. I have better things to occupy my time with. Better things? I don't care. I split open my veins and instead of blood, my eyes are blinded by the light of discontent that's oozing out. Without a doubt, it's only temporary. For now it feels real. As real as a worn-out mind seeking an, al an alternative to God only knows what. If I don't, neither does God. Here, take this key. Go open the door. Let me express myself for a while. Close it immediately after I'm done. Kind of ironic how a man of the words refuses to dive deep within emotion for the sake of maintaining the appearance of a false idol. Strength lies in the ability to conceal emotions, to cling on to ancient notions about what it means to be a man, a father, a poet. You can't have no idea what you're talking about. It's all just endless repetition, routine, stoicism, and the heart of iron that rusts. The years go by and your bodies grow old and weary. Don't fret too much, though. I also have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm just here writing some words that I'm compelled to. As a means of escaping my faults and highlighting one of the few redeeming qualities that I have. A strange affinity towards connecting on a different level. Who knows? Maybe it's all just in my head. Forgive my lack of good behavior. Sometimes my words are harsh. You don't deserve them. Even if you do, it's not my place to judge your journey. It's just that sometimes I get caught up in this whirlwind of confusion where I'm not quite sure anything really. 
enter title here because this isn't a poem, just a few words that culminate into random thoughts. Once in a while, they need to escape the maze I call my brain. This is an occasional escape into a circle flattened to a line, some weird occupation to occupy time.